Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Andrew. Bill's not with us today, but today what we're gonna talk about is there's so many people because we had back-to-back -back hurricanes. We had, we had Milton and we had Helene, and they were both devastating on the West Coast. You know, we're right now we're filming in Hudson, Florida, and on my property, and we're still cleaning up. And it's been like, what, six, seven days after yeah. Milton? Yeah. And it's been a few weeks after Helene. So it's, it's incredible. But what everybody's saying right now is, Andrew, everybody's saying that the housing market is going to crash in Florida. And the reason why they're saying the housing market is going to crash is, number one, with everything that's going on with the economy. And, but these hurricanes aren't helping the situation. I did a video about, you know, people, you know, having post-traumatic stress from the hurricanes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so many people, I mean, we got thousands of comments on that video. And it, so many people are saying, hey, you know what? We will, um, we're going to, we're going to move out of Florida. We just can't take it anymore, the hurricanes. So, and a lot of the properties just in this neighborhood some of the houses aren't even worth fixing. They're ranches. So obviously the values are going down. So here's the deal. Florida's a big state. Hurricanes only happen in certain places in Florida. It's well, not like they get wrecked across the whole well, place. Well, let's correct that. I, I, totally, <laughs> I totally, totally disagree with you. I'm telling you, though. Know. Because Florida, there, there is no safe place in Florida. I don't care if you're in the Keys. I don't care if you're in the Panhandle yeah, but, or but East Coast or West Coast. You, you, you will get hit by a hurricane. All right. I've owned, my house is up in Spring Hill. I've owned my house for 37 years now. I've never had a hurricane hit us in 37 years. You've had a hurricane, you just haven't been here. You haven't had no, no, damage. No, no, no one <laughs> in our area has had any damage in 37 years. No flooding, no destroyed houses. Uh, don't get me wrong, tree branches and stuff like that, yes. But because so, so now you're gonna get nailed, you know yeah, that. Well, right? I know that. I just jinxed myself. <laughs> we're, but no, because we're in what's called we're in a non-jet stream. So what happens is everything happens either below because like Hudson, where we are right now, this is 20 miles below me, mm -hmm. right? And so you're talking just 20 miles. Now don't get me wrong, we get wind. Like when Milton came through, we got big winds, 40, 60, 70 mile an hour. But they're gusts. They're not consistent. You know, constant wind. But you know everything it happens below us or above us. And that's only because of the way the jet stream goes. But there's a lot of places in Florida where you can, like, you know, I know everyone's panicking. Let's get it that way. Everyone's mm -hmm. panicking because it's like they just got double whammied. The odds of that happening again are, pff, you, you have a better chance of winning Lotto. Because uh, Milton, that came off of Mexico, across from the west to the east. The last time that happened was like 100 years ago. Well... That doesn't, yeah, hurricanes don't I feel like, well, I mean, last year, the South got hit. Overall. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong, it does, but here's what's going to happen. When you talk about, like, the housing market and stuff in Florida, and, like, people whose houses got destroyed, because th those were houses that were built in the 50s, 60s, and the 70s. They weren't, or maybe even in the 80s, they really weren't that, you know, constructed that well. So what's going to happen is people are going to wind up selling for the value of the land, and some of the land is worth... A good couple hundred grand. Some of it's only worth 50, 70, 80 grand, depending on the size. But people are going to build like the house right across from us. They're going to be putting up, you're going to get people coming in and they're going to put up the million, the $2 million mansion. Oh, well, it already started. Yeah. I mean, these, because obviously, you know, you can't, you can't really produce more land. I guess you could if you, you know, start filling in the golf, but no, but technically you can't produce yeah. more land. So what, what's happening is before these hurricanes, investors that were coming in and they were buying these old rundown ranches, knocking them down. And there's like three down there, there's a few down on the other oh, yeah. side. And they're building million dollar homes. Yeah. Like, look at the one that's sitting right next to us. We'll take a shot of it and cut it in. But that that property is what? What is that? Like maybe sixty by ninety or something like that. Give yeah, waterfront. But the house, you yeah, know, But the house is shot. But the property, who? I, I mean, I don't really know what that property is worth. Maybe a hundred grand. Two hundred. You know, maybe one fifty, two hundred. But someone will take that and they'll put a, a two bedroom, one and a half bath, or something like nothing major. You know, something for just like a, a couple. A young wow, couple, you really like couple. small houses? Two bedroom, one no, and a half. No, no. But I'm saying there'll be like a single guy <laughs> who fishes and he's got the dock. It's not going to be where you're living literally raising a family in that house you know you got three kids running around and but that house is they'll put a new one up and that piece of property with that house will be a million seven a million eight two two all right so you, what i'm trying to get stay on subject is is the florida housing market and crash no. so so i think what's going to happen is 
I it think may stall a little bit. It's going to stall yeah. because of these storms. Yeah. I think people will leave. I think values are going to crash at the beginning. Investors will come in when they're, you know, at the blow, when they're really down. Yeah. And they're going to buy, they're going to buy properties and buy when, everything. And then they're going to build these million dollar houses, yep. you know, because I bought these properties during the last crash. Yeah. And you got to deal. You the, the one we're sitting at right now is enormous. Right. So that's and it's waterfront. So, yeah. so this property with nothing on it is definitely worth. Right. If you were to sell it today, you'd probably get seven eight hundred thousand dollars to but, a developer. Because the for house, a developer, yeah, yeah, yeah because it's, but but that's what my point is. I couldn't afford that this property. No. Now. No. No. Could, no I, nobody could unless you. you I, know, I couldn't you, afford it, but when I bought it. I'm not going to say what I paid for it, but when I bought it, it was a lot cheaper. Yeah. So I think it, the, the properties are going to crash for a while. They, uh, well, they'll come down in price. I, I no, wouldn't they, call it a crash because a crash is when, like, literally everything starts hitting rock bottom. Well, like, here, here's the problem, okay? We, we have other problems. Hey, do me a favor. Um, if you like this kind of content, kind of, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel and it's greatly appreciated. Give it a thumbs up and share. Here's the problem, too with these waterfront properties and a lot of homes in Florida, especially after these hurricanes, is insurance. Yeah. Insurance in Florida is You're just, not going to get any. It's stupid. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's beyond. You have to do out of pocket. It's, yeah, self-insure. But the whole thing is you can't self-insure if you have a mortgage. If you have no. a mortgage, you have to have insurance. And now everybody's calling it a flood. And so many people around here, like, I'm talking to them because, you know, I'm a home inspector. And they're like, yeah, I'm paying $1,000 a month for Homeowners insurance, yes. which is freaking. Yeah, but see, here's the other thing too. Like a lot of people that live here, um, I don't. I want to use the term professional like loosely. Aren't professionals, and so like their income for the year isn't that much. You know, a lot of people around here did. You know, forty, fifty thousand is a lot of money a year to them. Well, they're blue it's, collar. Work, yeah, but, it's going to change where the people that are going to be living here are the people that are making three, four hundred thousand dollars a year. Well, I know a lot of these people, and they've yeah. been here for generations. Well, if you're a plumber, an electrician, people like that, they're definitely doing amazing. You know what I'm saying? But you know, like a school teacher doesn't make a lot here. A police officer doesn't. So make how a lot do you? Here. How, so they're not going to be able to afford. No, they're going to go dollars. more inland, where it's you know safer and cheaper. So at the end of the day, on the coast, it's only going to be the rich that are going to be living on the coast. Well, no, I, I put it this way: I don't want to call them the rich. I'll call them the smart because they were smart enough to make money <laughs> yeah. honestly they're the smarts they they, they they were smart to make money you know like put it this way you know this is all andrew's opinion by the way not it mine is, but don't take any, <laughs> don't take anything don't hold anything against a rich person see there's, there's one thing i'm not, I'm not one holding term, anything against no, rich no, people but, but at the end of the day rich people are the ones who are, are going to be able to live on the water and you know what god bless them you know put it this way everyone has i don't want to say the same opportunity but everyone has opportunity Right. And is one, there's two things people got to understand. You never work hard. You work smart. If you work hard, that means you, you're busting your ass for 10 bucks an hour. Work smart. Figure out how to how to do better, how to make more. You know what I'm saying? Like what the trend is, what's going down. You know, if, some people can't do that. We're, we're, we're going off subject. The, we are. We are. The, the, we'll we'll, we'll do, do another video. The subject <laughs> on this one is, is the housing market going to crash in Florida? No. It's you gonna, don't think so. It's only going to, it's going to stall as in like, they're not going to be building anything and set, or anything that's already built, right? It's going to have a hard time selling because people are going to be like, I got to get flood insurance. I got to get hurry, you know, all that stuff. That's yeah. Gonna have I, I think the ranches yeah. are along the shoreline. They're, are, done, are, with. they're done with. Yeah. I think all these ranches are going to have to be knocked down. Oh, and, they're going to be. Up. All of them are going to be. But then what's going to happen is someone's going to come and buy the land and they're going to sit on it for a couple of years. Like, you're not going to be seeing, like, a house across from us here go up in, like, six months. Like, someone will buy the land and they'll just sit dormant because they got to wait for the market to kind of settle itself out a little bit. Because mm -hmm. think about it. In, in, the, in the mid area by us over here, there's, what is it? Is it uh, Lakeland, West of the Chapel over there? How many houses did they build in there in no, condos? thousands. And none of them are selling. Well, I don't know how many are selling it. But, but you get Bill, what I'm saying. Bill is, lives there and he's a realtor, so I'm sure he's going to disagree on you. Uh, he is, but, but, they're not, <laughs> but they're not selling in the numbers of, like, say, they would have sold two years ago. No, but and they're, they're, they're negotiating now. Yeah. And, there's, you know, there's, there's, and the there's, prices are going to drop on them because of just what happened in the last three weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, believe it or not, you know, and I haven't verified everything myself, so this is not really coming from me, but 
a lot of those new subdivisions because see a lot of builders are buying cheap land to build they can't yeah. come here because everything's developed here they can't go to tarpon springs clear water no you know can't afford it you know to buy land and build a subdivision no it's not yeah. happening so yeah. they're going out to zephyr hills wesley chapel yeah. where the some land is cheaper yeah but because of the storm and because of all the rain a lot of those are getting flooded they're not even sold yet well, a lot, a lot. Well, here's the other thing. That's too. what people are telling me. I don't, I don't know too much about what, like, in those Zephyr Hills and, and Western Chapel, but I knew, know, I do know by me. Like, we, granted, we didn't get any flooding, but we, we do get, you know, a street could, you know, well, it wasn't, up. it wasn't sunny while the hurricane was happening at your house. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> but here's the thing: there's no real. Now, I don't know. You, correct me if I'm wrong on this. There's no real sewer systems around here. Everything like drains to like a sump or something, like a like a pool. Like, because by retention me, retention ponds. Yeah, retention ponds. So when a retention pond fills up, the like it's got to got to go somewhere. Yeah, it else. goes to another retention pond. You, you another, another. Yeah. So and like, eventually everything's and that's why this water is brown right now because they're yeah, freaking all so, the runoff. So in Wesley Chapel and places like that that are flooding because they're not on the water. They're nowhere near water. Yeah, but they, they just the water the ground was so saturated. This water it had not nowhere go, to go. It had nowhere to go. So what I'm saying is they they got to start investing in like getting but here, drain Here's off. another thing too. The property taxes, the, the other reason that a lot of people aren't buying in Florida and people are going to leave is the not only is insurance stupid, and I won't go over it again, but property taxes are stupid in Florida too because I don't think the, the property tax system in Florida for property taxes is fair for new people coming in. If you own your house for a long time, you're, you have a cap how much your taxes go up. But yeah, if you're brand new... a small percentage, yeah. You might be paying $3,000 a year right now for property taxes, but if you sold your house... The next person might be paying ten thousand for the same exact house. Yeah, yeah, correct. So, it, I think you know I'm a big believer, and I said this on many videos that once your property taxes reach a certain level, okay, it's not like you own the house anymore. I feel like you know you're renting it. You're renting it from the county. Yeah, basically, or yeah. or the state, you know, yeah. or whoever you're paying your property taxes yeah. to. And I and I'm a, and I'm a big and I'm a big believer in that. Um. I think, you know, people should pay property taxes, but it has to be reasonable and they can't, people can't be priced out of their house because of freaking insurance and because of taxes. No, and yeah. I think that's what's going to cause initially the housing market to collapse. Something has to happen in Florida in order for it to survive. Otherwise, Florida is going to be just a big playground for the rich. That's all it's going to be. Well, you're gonna, it, the whole state's going to turn into Miami. You know, where, where everything but, is. Okay, so he, here here's the thing, and I brought this sample up a couple of times in some other videos, too. Miami, you brought a good... My uh, cousin down there runs a really nice restaurant, more higher end. I go down there, visit him, go to the restaurant. All cool. I'm sitting at a table, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, nobody's even coming by to ask me what I want to eat. <laughs> and then I'm like, hey, you know, I call my cousin over. It's like, you know, is anybody here to come serve me? He's like, we're short-staffed. I was like... You're packed here. You charge a fortune. Why don't you hire more people? He says, here's the problem. We want to hire people, but we can't find people to work at the restaurant. And because they can't afford the area. Yeah. The people that actually work at the restaurant can't afford to live in the area. And for them, traveling to the restaurant doesn't make sense. Does that make sense? <laughs> I get it. But you got you see the, the, the problem is, is is that like you know I look at this from an outside opinion, a lot a lot of people like they take jobs that you know like say a waiter or a waitress you know and they keep those jobs for years and years. Those jobs are just a stepping stone. You should be there maybe a year or two and that's it and move on. Have a bigger goal in life. Yeah, you're you're going way off subject. Again. I am, but you, what but, I'm trying but, to say but is, you, you but what say, I'm saying is, but it's, it's it's the value of the homes. So I know, but those whatever. people. What I'm trying to say is, if if you live, say you live 20 miles away from like your your cousin's restaurant, right? If it's a high end restaurant. And you, you, you can make good money as a waiter in there if you show up and do the work. And, you know, you pay attention to customers. They're spending money. You'll make money. But People if, don't but, look but, at it that But way. if Florida costs too much to live here, these people might not even live in Florida anymore. Or, you know, live, I got news for you. Florida's a lot cheaper than anywhere else. You know what? Yeah, and someone will say, yeah, let's, let's go to Alabama or Louisiana. You know what I say? Go. Please go. Go right now. You know what? Because you'll, you'll want to leave. He's, he's not part of this channel, so don't even listen to him. <laughs> you'll, 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 you'll leave there. You'll leave there in six hours. You'll no, get you there and hey, leave. listen, not for nothing, I like Alabama and I like Tennessee. I like I got everything. nothing against them, but, it's, but what I'm trying to say is it's like 
it, everyone thinks that the grass is green is somewhere else, and it's not. It's you're gonna have the same hey, issues. To, to let everybody know, Andrew, he's from New York, okay, and he he lived in California of all places for the last 15, 20 years. Twenty more 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 than twenty. And years. then he, le years. he he left California and he came to Florida. Yeah, but but the thing was, <laughs> is, yeah, but you see, I bought my house in Florida back in nineteen eighty seven. So That's I, right. I bought my house here because I was smart enough to know that one day I would be here. I I understand that, but right now is I think that I think the market's going to crash. It's it, well, right. it's, I won't even it's, use the word crash. Dump. Okay, it's going to come it's down. Gonna go, it's going to come down. There's, big, there's too much stuff against it. Yeah, taxes are against it. Insurance against it. These hurricanes are against it. The economy's against it. You know, we're we're a tourist destination. But, Jobs true, are against true, it. True, but look, I can keep going. Yeah, and and you know what? And that'll happen for a year or two, maybe three tops. You know what I'm saying? Where everything will kind of come down. Because let's remember last year. Now, last year, no hurricanes coming through. Last year was a great year for us. But go no. to go south of the Skyway Bridge, and it wasn't. No, no. But what I'm trying to say is, there'll be people. There will always be people that'll come here. Like everyone says, everyone's moving out of California. I got news for you: more people move into the state of California every day than anywhere else. Well, that and, might that might not be true. Why don't you guys fact check that? Because I think they lost electoral. They, they yeah, lost. but but, he, he, <laughs> yeah, but hear me out. No, what I'm Who, trying to who's, say. Who's moving to California? I got news for you. Cal California has a lot of people go mostly for the entertainment industry. But California's got like unbelievably beautiful weather no matter where you yes, go. Yes, yes, it's, it's beautiful weather. But I'm not you're, you're, I'm not pro California at all. I'm more pro <laughs> Florida. I like Florida. I do. I love it here. It's less expensive. The people are nicer. There's more opportunities. I mean, you just got to think out of the box. And within the next couple, put it this way, in in 15 to 20 years, Florida, the whole state is going to be a, is going to be like a mecca. If people are going to come here, it's going to be amazing. And now, granted, like you said, it, it's going to be only for the people with money, but hopefully people all start making money. There's so much new technology out there to, you know, better yourself in life. You know, don't I, don't sit around, smoke cigarettes and drink beers all day. Again, he's off subject. <laughs> again, 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 he's freaking off subject. I, I just, that's that's this is going to be a throwaway video. <laughs> I, I, I try to keep him on subject. You know, why is the housing market, if is the, is the housing market going to crash? All right, we're Florida? getting it all out right now. Then we're going to do another one right after this and be on point. So you think it's not going to crash. You think it's just going to be depressed for a little bit. Yeah, it's just going to be depressed for a while, maybe a year or two. Okay. I think that it's going to be depressed for a couple of years, maybe two or three years, the same thing. Yeah. And then I think as time goes on, you know, people's memories are short, and I think they're going to start forgetting about these, these oh, uh, yeah. hurricanes. No, what, that's what I'm getting at. It's like, is people going to come down? You know, it's it's use use pain as the example. Like, you know, someone punches you, you got pain in the arm. The one thing you never remember is pain, and that's the same thing that's going to happen here. People will talk about the hurricane, but they're not going to remember it, and they're going to be like, you know, oh, it's, it it was. You know the the craziness. The, this, well, the we 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 had a storm here called the No Name Storm, and the people talked about it for decades. Yeah, I wasn't even living here when that happened. So, but you know, it happened, and people talk about it. Now, this one, you know, Helene was worse than the No Name Storm for us over here. Put it so if you if you come down here and you set yourself up correctly, and you you set your house up, you know, the way it should be where if a hurricane does come in and you can get yourself out and take your valuables, you know, whatever it is you got, you, you could be fine. You know, especially if you got one of these houses that's lifted, you know, 12 feet above ground. Yeah, but you're talking about, you know, you, it's easy to say that you, you need six, seven hundred thousand dollars to build these things. I, I know. And it sounds like a lot of money and it is. But overall, if you invest in it once, it'll last you for 50 years. If you guys start commenting and blasting this video, use his name. And he goes by Ange, too. He said, don't use Ange. He goes by Ange, say, Ange, you're crazy. Anyways. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> That's today's video. I really appreciate it. Like always, think about Consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. And check out this video. I picked it out just for you guys. Um, a lot of people have been watching it. And I want to see what you guys think about it. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks.